Good afternoon. My name is Minister Robert Lee Williams from propheticinformationministries.com. Today is August the 6th, 2017. Well, um, as you can tell, I'm not at home. Um, just to let some of you guys know that, uh, and why I haven't updated my website or done any YouTube videos here lately. I have had three foot operations on my right foot. And uh, I'm in a rehabilitation center right now. I've been here for about a week and I'll be leaving to go home tomorrow for a little while. Um, so I just wanted to give you that update. But what this video is about is a dream that I had almost two weeks ago. And I think I need to get this out and share this with the body of Christ. This is a prophetic warning dream. Um, and uh, I want to uh, give you this dream and then I'll try to tell you what it's my interpretation is. But first I want to read out of Ezekiel 33 verse 6 But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people be not warned the sword if the sword come and take any person among them he is taken away in his iniquity but his blood I will require at the watchman's hand I see a sword coming and it's time to give you this warning okay in this dream I saw myself my mother was in it she was in a wheelchair and I think I had one of my kids with me and my brother we were driving in a small town it kind of reminded me of Monday Texas where I kind of was raised up in and we dropped our mother off at the grocery store to, so she could get some shopping done and uh, excuse me and then we had some other errands to do but then I noticed the clouds were getting darker and I knew that we, there was a big storm coming and we had to go get our mother and to go back home. And uh, we went and picked her up and the storm was getting even worse, you know, the, the clouds were getting darker and darker. You could tell something was about ready to hit. Well, I remember being out there in Monday, Texas, that it, it's in Tornado Alley, so... But I did not think this was a tornado that was coming. It was going to be very devastating, the storm. But anyway, we could not make it home. So we had to go into like an old department store or an old school. Because they had a fallout shelter. If, if, if a lot of you remember... And may, a lot of you may know that uh, back in the 50s and 60s or whatever, when they built buildings and, and schools, they would have a basement. But it was a special basement. It was a nuclear fallout shelter. And uh, when we went in, we went down these stairs, but I saw this plaque on the wall which I've seen before in another church that I went to in Topeka, Kansas. It had a basement and had the same placard. It was a nuclear fallout shelter. So it was an extra strong shelter. And then we were going down the stairs and somebody was behind me and they were to, to close the door. You know, I said, you got to shut the door now. The storm is here. 
So I think he just barely got the door shut. And then the dream was over. Well, what this dream is telling me is there's a big storm coming. And it's a fast moving storm. I don't believe it's a tornado because I knew there was going to be massive destructions. Our cars were going to be gone. Other buildings and houses were going to be gone. But you would remain safe underground. Especially since in the dream it was given to me to see this placard of a nuclear fallout shelter. So it's a good possibility God's given me a warning to get out to the people that we just might have a nuclear missile come to America or somewhere in the world. But it's, it's kind of in a rural area, but I'm not sure. That's just what was kind of shown to me in the dream. So we need to pray this off. You know, I don't want a nuclear missile to hit America anywhere. But you know, look what's going on over in North Korea. Kim Jong-un is trying, is, is thinking seriously about sending one our direction. You know, you hear this in the news and you, you hear this on other channels here on websites, on YouTube. And uh, we need to pray that off. But one day, it's a good possibility that's going to happen. And in my spirit, I feel that God's judgment is about ready to hit America. You know, we already see a lot of it happening. And I'm afraid that something catastrophic is about to happen. I hope not. But, uh, you know, I kind of know better. It's going to happen anyway. But uh, I just wanted to let you guys know and, uh, you know, get prepared. If you have a basement, you know, put some extra supplies down there, some water and food and things like that. You know, I need to do that too. But, you know, right now my funds are kind of limited right now. Especially since I'm not working because of my foot. You know, I've, got, I've probably got 50 to 100 stitches in my right foot. And I'm not supposed to put any weight on it. But uh, God will supply my financial needs. Uh, I'm not worried about that. But uh, I just wanted to let you guys know about this dream. And God wouldn't let this go away. You know, so I had to get this out today. You know, tomorrow I go home. I'm going to try to update my website. I'll put this video up on my website, I hope, tomorrow the next day. And then, uh, you know, I, I do have my next assignment I've got to do. It is an ordination service. Uh, I've got to do within the next two or three weeks. And I'm looking forward to that. I've never done it before. I've just been through it when I was ordained as a minister. And now I've got to ordain someone else. But, uh, you know, God is now beginning to stretch me out of my comfort zone to do things that I've never done before. And, and I'm looking forward to doing that. And, uh, and whatever else God wants me to do, I'll do. And uh, so I just wanted to get this warning dream out to you. So just pray about this. If anybody else picks anything else up in the spirit realm, if God's shown you a dream or something, let me know. Put a comment below. And uh, 
That's about it. So, until next time, this is Minister Robert Lee Williams from propheticinformationministries.com and godsmiracleministry.com. See you on the next video. God bless you, and talk to you later.